Take it away, everybody. But I wouldn't give anything for this journey I've been on uh, for over 50 years in the City of Angels. Well, you're one of the angels. Uh, Reverend Perry had the very first Pride Parade in 1970, when things weren't real uh, fun, and fun, fun and games in those days. And then also with starting the Metropolitan Community Churches. It's just the inclusion is so wonderful what he's done. And I'm sure it was very hard for Reverend Perry back in the old days. And I really take my hat off to him and appreciate what he, you know, the foresight he had and the determination and the, the courage, the courage that he had to go forward and just do it and make it happen. And now we're seeing what was in his mind in 1970, what it could be. It's a different day. Everything hasn't changed, but uh, certainly today, if you live in Los Angeles and uh, you, there is no way you can't know someone who is uh, LGBTQ. Uh, we're in every community in this community. Okay, ready? One. Uh, Philip and I both, uh, when we were young teenagers, we ran away from home and it was terrible. You know, my parents were very homophobic. They had a hard time. But you also have to give your parents and your loved ones time to think about it, go through the pain of it, whatever it is for them. Uh, but most importantly, when we come out the other side to love each other unconditionally is really important. You're, you're given choices in life. You gotta right, make the right choices. You can't let other people define who you are. I've always said I will not do that and it's got me in the White House visiting with three presidents. Uh, I want my legacy to be that I was uh, fearless and I was faithful. I want to wish everybody a happy pride. Here we are. We've made it this far by faith alone. Pride, baby! Pride! pride. pride. Not just here to hear the Lifetime Achievement Award was presented to Reverend Troy Perry, founder of the Metropolitan Community Church, by the young of Los Angeles Pride. He is tired as he worked to advocate for members of the LGBTQ plus community globally for more than 40 years now. And an advisor to three sitting presidents on LGBTQ plus rights, he has devoted his life to bringing awareness to all issues.